Moving forward, we're going to be talking about Volvo, and uh, we have with us Goran Lindgren, who is the president of Volvo yep. Americas. Yep. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, Roger. Well, I understand that you are just really expanding your footprint in the Americas uh, uh, profoundly with a, a new center. Let's talk about that project that's underway. Yeah, no, we've been in uh, we've been here in North America for many, many, many years. We yes. have a long history here. It's a long history in North America, and now we're making a major investment, uh, 130 million dollars. So we have a uh, factory up in Pennsylvania, Shippensburg, Pennsylvania, and there's three pieces to that uh, investment. The number one is that we have taken our headquarters and moved that from Shippensburg, no, from uh, North from North Carolina, Asheville, North Carolina, and moved it up to, up in uh, Shippensburg. Okay. Uh, that brings then the three legs of the company together. Uh, that'll be sales and marketing. We have uh, operations uh, and uh, also technology. So with that, the benefit for the customers will of course be that we can give, we can respond quicker and faster uh, to, to our customers by having uh, everybody on, on the same side. And so the, once you get this completed, I understand uh, late summer, late spring time, when when your customer comes in, will a customer have an opportunity to be hands-on with equipment? Exactly. So that is the second piece of it is that we're building this customer center. Uh -huh. So we have a 40 acres up there, and we're right in the middle of building this customer center. And uh, we have a... Uh, uh, like you're saying there, the benefit will be they can come to our production facility, can go through the factory, uh, they can go up to this uh, center, uh, customer center, where we can host up to 250 people, and uh, then they can uh, be building up applications there so they can try our machinery, try out our machinery, and we uh, try out machinery on site. So that'll be a uh, you could say a total customer experience. Absolutely, it ought to be a, just a great facility for the company. Yeah. Now, the growth of Volvo Americas has been just something in the last few years, I, and I, I want to mention, of course, the uh, uh, the the, the Terex acquisition with the off-road heavy haulers. Uh, do you have more such uh, acquisitions in, in mind, or is this something you want to grow the particular lineups of these equipment? No, the Terex acquisition fitted into uh, what we call the light mining segment in a, in a very good way. So that was something we've been missing over the years, and that's why we have done that. I just have to add that this, uh, this whole deal is now subject to regulatory approval, so we haven't closed the deal yet. Uh, for the future of other acquisitions, I think it's, uh, we probably need to digest this one first before we start to move, uh, look forward to something else. Now, you have quite a large footprint here at ConExpo 2014 with the equipment. Can you yes. outline some of the new technologies that you're bringing aboard this year? Yeah, it, it's of course, we have 17 machines over there. It's uh, tier four final technology, yes. so that'll be the, uh, the, main, uh, the main thing for this year. We also have some, we, we've been leading in innovation over the years, all the way back to 1832 when the company was yes. founded. Uh, so you will see a lot of innovation, uh, future-looking innovation in that stand also. Very good.